Hi, it's Logan from Sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to be doing a mattress comparison of the Purple mattress versus Tempur-Pedic mattress. Now, these are both really great companies, and I can tell you right off the bat that the Purple is a much bouncier mattress, whereas the Tempur-Pedic is a bit softer, allows you to sink in for pressure relief. Now, throughout this comparison, I'm going to be focusing mostly on the original Purple mattress versus the Temper Cloud Supreme, but I will talk a little bit about the other models in the mattress line, such as the Purples 2, 3, and 4, and the Temper Flex Supreme, so be sure to stick around for that. I'm going to talk about the different materials used, the feel and firmness of both mattresses, as well as some other tests that we put all the mattresses here at Sleepopolis through, so be sure to stick around for some great information. So we're going to be taking a look at two great companies today that are very different. With Purple, we have one of the biggest names in this new wave of mattress companies specializing in the bed in a box market, whereas with Tempur-Pedic, it's more of an established brand specializing in more of a luxury feel to their mattresses. We're going to compare and contrast these mattresses throughout the comparison. However, if there is any information that I don't cover throughout this video, or you're looking for a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep references. I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if you are looking at other mattress brands, you can Google Sleepopolis and mattress comparisons. We have a lot more uh, great comparison articles on the site, so please be sure to check that out. So now let's jump into the comparison, talking about the materials used in, during the construction portion. All right, so first let's take a look at the construction of the Purple mattress. Now, Purple is a bend a box mattress that comes in at about 10 inches in height. The cover of the Purple is a mixture of polyester and lycra. Lycra is a material that's generally found in athletic clothing. It's really stretchy and it's pretty breathable, so it should help with temperature regulation and cooling. Now, it's made of three different layers, and the top one is this hyperelastic polymer. That's Purple's proprietary material. It's really what they're known for. It's set up in this grid structure, and it is a bouncy material, so it's gonna have a quick response to pressure, and because it's set up in that grid structure, basically the walls of the grid collapse around your body to kind of give you better pressure relief where you're sinking further into the mattress. Now, below that polymer uh, comfort layer on top, you have a four-inch layer of high-density polyfoam. This is to start giving you a little bit more support uh, than the hyperelastic polymer grid provides. It's also a bit of a transition layer, so it's a bit firmer than the comfort layer. So as you're sinking further into the mattress, it's getting a little bit firmer. And finally, at the base of the mattress, you have another four-inch layer of high-density polyfoam. This is even firmer than the transition layer, really provides support to the mattress, provides its shape. So on top, you have that bouncy layer of hyperelastic polymer, which is, I should mention, a temperature-neutral material, so it's gonna be really good. It's gonna help you sleep a bit cooler. It's a bouncy material, so you're gonna be able to change positions really easily. And it is set up in that grid structure, so the walls of the grid collapse to kind of contour around your body. Uh, giving you a little bit of pressure relief where you need it. Then you have that high density polyfoam layer beneath that, which starts to give you a bit more support, transition you into a firmer feel. And finally, at the base, you have another high density polyfoam layer, this one even firmer than the transition layer to provide support to the entire structure and really give the purple its shape. All right, next up, let's talk about the construction of the Temper Cloud Supreme. It is an all foam mattress, but it does not arrive compressed in a box. It stands at about 11 and a half inches. The cover of the Temper Cloud Supreme is a mixture of polyester and spandex, and it does have some soft quilting in it, so it does have a bit of a thicker, softer feeling to it. Now, the comfort layer of the Temper Cloud Supreme is two inches of memory foam, so it's a soft material. You're gonna sink into it for pressure relief. You're gonna feel some contouring around your body. Now, below that comfort layer of memory foam, there is another two and a half inch layer of memory foam. So all in all, on top of the temper cloud, there's four and a half inches of memory foam. So you're gonna sink it deep into the temper cloud. So it's gonna be great for pressure relief. Really nice for side sleepers who generally have a tough time with firmer mattresses. Because of the pressure points that often form for side sleepers, when you push into a mattress and interact with the support layers of a mattress, memory foam tends to be a really good material for you, especially four and a half inches of it. So that when you sink into the mattress, uh, you're gonna have a lot of room there for your shoulders and your hips. Now below all that memory foam, there is a two and a half inch layer of polyfoam. This really acts as the transition layer of the mattress. It's a bit firmer than the memory foam on top of it. So you're transitioning from that soft memory foam that you're sinking really far into, into a little bit firmer support of that transition layer of polyfoam. It also has a bit of a quicker response to pressure uh, than the memory foam does. Memory foam has a really slow response to pressure. It's not a very bouncy material. So you might feel a bit stuck in the temper cloud mattress. 
This layer of polyfoam is trying to have a bit of a quicker response to pressure, so you can kind of change positions a little bit uh, as you kind of move further into the mattress. Finally, at the base of the Temper Cloud Supreme is a five inch layer of uh, high density polyfoam. This is a really firm material that acts to support all of the layers on top of the mattress, as well as some really deep compression support to the sleeper on top of the Tempur-Pedic. All right, now that we've seen what makes up both the Purple and Temper Cloud mattresses, we're gonna talk about the feel and firmness of them. Let's start with the Purple mattress, which has a really bouncy feel thanks to that hyperelastic polymer. In my opinion, it has a medium firmness to it, so it's really great for combo sleepers. Because of that quick response to pressure from the hyperelastic polymer, you're not gonna feel stuck in the mattress at all. And also because of the way that the grid structure is set up with the walls collapsing, depending on where uh, more pressure is added, you're gonna have good, a good mixture of support and comfort in multiple positions. I do also wanna point out that I think that the purple sleeps really cool because that polymer is a temperature neutral material. So it should help to kind of keep you from overheating during the middle of the night. All right, now let's talk about the Temper Cloud mattress. Because of that four and a half inches of memory foam on top of the construction, you're really gonna sink in, feel that classic memory foam feeling and contouring around your body. Now, memory foam has a really slow response to pressure, so there's almost no bounce to this mattress. So you may feel a little bit stuck in the mattress when you're trying to change positions. Now, because of all that memory foam on top of the mattress, I do think this Temper Cloud is really great uh, for side sleepers. Side sleepers, because of that higher weight concentration over lower surface area, tend to push further into, into mattresses and end up interacting more with the firmer support layers of a mattress. That can cause issues uh, at the sh with pressure at the shoulders and the hips. Now, because of all that soft memory foam on top of the Temper Cloud, I think it's really great for side sleepers because it avoids causing those pressure points at the shoulders and the hips. One thing I will say about all that memory foam on top of the mattress is that memory foam does have a bit of a reputation uh, for trapping body heat, so it might cause you to sleep a little bit hotter on the Temper Cloud. All right, so a lot of people buying a mattress are gonna to wanna to know if they're sitting on top of or sinking into bed. So on all the mattresses I test here at Sleepopolis, I run a sinkage test in which I use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts and check to see how far into the mattress they sink. Now I have a six pound medicine ball filled with sand, simulates a lighter body part. 10 pound steel ball, it's the densest ball used during this test. A 50 pound medicine ball, also filled with sand, simulates a heavier body part. Think maybe your shoulders, your hips, Finally, a 100 pound medicine ball, also filled with sand. But if you're a bit bigger, it simulates kind of the center mass of your body. Uh, now, the sinkages on the purple, we're going back to the original purple now, and the temper cloud mattress are very different because of their different feels. Uh, on the purple, the six pound medicine ball sunk in about an inch, whereas it sinks in about an inch and a half. On the temper cloud, the 10 pound steel ball is about two inches, or two and a half inches on the uh, temper cloud mattress. So pretty close, but because of the higher bounce on the purple mattress when compared to the uh, memory foam feel on the Temper Cloud, uh, there is already a bit of a different feel. So even though the sinkages are pretty close, uh, you're gonna be able to change positions and feel a lot more on top of the purple than on the Temper Cloud. Now when we get into the heavier medicine balls, you're gonna see a big difference in sinkage with the 50 pound medicine ball sinking four inches into the purple as opposed to five and a half inches on the Temper Cloud mattress and five and a half inches for the 100 pound medicine ball on the purple as opposed to seven inches on the Temper Cloud mattress. So that's where we really start to see a big uh, divergence in the feels on the purple and uh, Temper Cloud mattress. So between the deeper sinkage and the slower response to pressure on the Temper Cloud mattress as opposed to on the purple mattress, you're gonna feel more on top of the purple and be able to change positions a lot easier thanks to all that bounce and less sinkage as, as opposed to being further into uh, the Temper Cloud mattress with slow response to pressure. Now, like I mentioned before, both Purple and Tempur-Pedic have other mattress models in their lines. I wanted to talk a little bit about them here. So let's start with Purple, which has the Purples 2, 3, and 4. These mattresses also use Purple's proprietary hyperelastic polymer in their comfort grids. Uh, the difference between these mattresses and the original Purple is that these mattresses use support layers of pocketed coil systems. It's gonna have a little bit firmer support than the original Purple, which uses all foam support. Uh, it's also gonna create really bouncy mattresses. That hyperelastic polymer has a really quick response to pressure and combining it with pocketed coil systems creates really bouncy mattresses. So regardless of these three, which of these three you choose, you're gonna be able to change positions really easily. 
Now the difference between these mattresses comes in the height of the hyperelastic polymer grid and the comfort layer. The Purple 2 has two inches of hyperelastic polymer, three, three inches, and the four, four inches of polymer in that comfort layer. And it provides really different feels. So the two is the firmest, great for stomach sleepers. It's gonna keep your hips from sinking in the mattress, keep your spine aligned in a good position. The three is in the medium range. So again, good for combination sleepers. You're gonna change positions a lot. And the four is the best of these three for side sleepers. It's the softest feel. Again, side sleepers tend to prefer softer mattresses. So you're gonna be able to sink further into this mattress before you uh, interact with the firm support from that pocketed coil system. Now let's talk about the Temper Flex, which is the hybrid model in the Tempur-Pedic line. Now on top of the Temper Flex mattress, there is three inches of memory foam. So again, you're gonna sink into that for pressure relief. Uh, but below that, instead of more memory foam, you have six inch pocketed coil layer for support. Uh, so you're gonna sink in for pressure relief, but you're gonna get a little bit more bounce on the Temper Flex than you are on the Temper Cloud. So you're gonna be able to change positions a bit easier. So a little bit nicer for combo sleepers than the Temper Cloud. I do wanna point out that the Temper Flex and the Purples 2, 3, and 4 all have high density polyfoam edge support wrapped around their pocketed coil layers. So that's gonna allow you to sleep all the way to the ends of the bed, which is great if you sleep with a partner uh, because it's gonna make the bed feel a little bit bigger. Now there's a really quick run throughs of all the mattresses in the Purple and Tempur-Pedic lines. So if you would like deeper dives and a little bit more information on any of them, you can just Google Sleepopolis and Purple or Sleepopolis and Tempur-Pedic. We're gonna have way more information in our full reviews of all these mattresses. Just to give you some basic information about both of these companies, Purple offers a 100 night trial period for their mattresses, whereas Tempur-Pedic offers a 90 day trial period. Both companies offer 10 year warranties on their mattresses, as well as free shipping. I do wanna point out that the original Purple arrives compressed in a bag, whereas the Purples 2, 3, and 4, as well as the Tempur-Pedic, uh, Tempur-Flex, and Tempur-Cloud arrive uncompressed. To wrap up this comparison, I wanna give some recommendations on who I think would be better fits with either of these mattresses. I do wanna say that both Purple and Tempur-Pedic are really great companies providing great mattresses. They do have really different feels, so depending on what type of sleeper you are, you're gonna to wanna to go one way or the other. Now with the Purple, I really like it for combo sleepers. There's a really great bounce to the mattress, so you're not gonna feel stuck. You're gonna be able to change positions really easily. And also it has a medium firmness to it, so you're gonna get a nice mixture of support and comfort in multiple sleeping positions. I also like it for uh, the reason that it sleeps really cool. If you do tend to sleep a bit hot, that hyperelastic polymer is a temperature neutral material, uh, so it's gonna help with temperature regulation throughout the night. Now, I like the Tempur-Pedic a lot more for side sleepers because that four and a half inches of memory foam on top of the mattress, you're gonna be able to sink really far into it for pressure relief, which is great for side sleepers. And I also really like the Tempur-Pedic because it provides more of a luxury feel, so if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely say uh, Tempur-Pedic is more for you. Now, those are some really general recommendations. So if you are looking for a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep references, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, please subscribe to the Sleep Optimist YouTube channel because we're gonna keep putting out more content that's gonna help you get a better night's sleep. And if you don't already, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our uh, reviews, comparisons, sleep news, or any of our posts about giveaways for great things that you can win. So that's it for today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day.